Hey guys, welcome back. Well, we got the first two missions out, out under under our belt, and we're back here. I'm going to start back at the the great old parking job there, and we're going to go after the third mission and the final mission we're going to do here today, and that's we're going to we're going to go after the redfin pickerel, the American shad, the largemouth bass, and the smallmouth bass. So we'll start over here because this is basically where the red pickerel I've always caught them at. And let me give you a quick shot at here's the here's the rig we're going with. Again, it's our value cast 5'3. You know, it's small, nine pound. Um, come on. With the low decks 1,066 pounds. And again, I just beefed up a little bit because I have light stuff and it'll handle it. And then we're going with a casting spoon for now for the red pickerel and that'll do the bass too we can catch the bass on that i prefer to fish for my bass with uh, a, a jig and a, and, a, and a grub or some kind of tail hook to the back of it but for the pickerel here we're going to go after him right here now with the casting spoon this, this does a pretty good job we use it a lot in new york when we fish for the you know the grass pickerel the chain pickerel and the red fin up there so no difference here, fish react the same. All right, let's see if we, now where you want to find these again, the red pickerels just like in New York. Now these aren't lily pads. I'm going to figure out what these are and let you know. I'll have them posted on there. I, I remember what they are, but they're a grass. They're not really, they're, they're a bottom grass that grows up through. And you got to manage them because they can take over a waterway pretty quick. But anyway, we're going to go right down through here, and we're going to pull this spoon right across the side of that lily pad. So we're going to see if we can grab ourselves one of those red pin pickles. How about if I get us on the lake? I've been talking to you the whole time, and you ain't even got the picture. You don't even know where I'm throwing. <laughs> I don't think that's the red thing. Pick one. That's our smallmouth bass. We'll mark him off the list. This is where I was talking about where I'm throwing. Let him go out there as far as that crater will reach. And I hit the wrong button, of course. Huh? We are a large mouth bass. It's another small one. Well, we'll 
we'll keep hammering it down here. This is where they're at. Well, there's our largemouth bass. Wouldn't call him large now, would you? <laughs> Look at that little guy. Oh well, and there's a lot bigger bass in here than that critter. But anyway, that gets him off of our list. So now the largemouth bass is gone. All right. We'll keep him. All right, again, that was that was the very next cast. I'm trying to save a little film here, so. Uh-oh, that's a short one. All right. We'll get that pickerel. And there he is, the red fin pickerel, another baby. Look. It is a pretty fish now, isn't it? Gotta admit, that's a pretty fish. So we can mark him off the list. And actually, all we have... One more to go is American Shad. So, I'm going to take the long way around for here because I want to show you guys because this, is, if this is, isn't going to take long to catch this American Shad and we'll be done with this one. So I want to show you, like we did in the first video and the second video, some of the, the hot spots around here and to just take a little walk. So what we're going to do is put your pole away, Thomas. Now, we talked about all the hot spots around here. And we caught our panfish over there. And there's catfish can be had right over there in, in those weed beds, too, also. But you can catch... You can catch a lot of fish right here. And like I said, I, I love to come here. It is so peaceful and it's so quiet. And oh, by the way, I want to I thank you ladies that watch. And I'm sorry I always say fellas. It's just short for fellow fisher persons. <laughs> but I do have a lot of ladies that watch the channel. I hope I'm helping you out a little bit. And remember here where we went here. We've caught a lot of our panfish in here, and you can just catch tons and tons. Of, and like I said, it's so relaxing. I get sometimes on Sunday mornings. I get up, honey. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go relax before I start my day, and I have my cup of coffee when I get up, and I come here to this place, and I just flip. In the morning doves. Now it's almost it's past noon right now. Which we're probably not even... Have you noticed I don't even care about the peaks? When I'm here, I don't care what the peaks are. I don't care what the bite rate is. I just love to be here and hear the sounds and fish. So I didn't get to... I didn't get to show you any of the, any of the good spots over here in the second video. So I'll take a second here. Let's, let's pull out our, our bass rod again. I think he's in position six. Yeah. We're done with him, but I will, I, well, we'll, we'll throw this spoon along here, but this is a really good spot for bass. You catch a lot of bass right down through here along this wall. Nice little smallmouth bass. Yeah, so you can catch a lot. Of, you can catch a lot of bass along those rocks, and you can throw out to the, to the corners over there. Not a problem there. So let's take a let's take a little more walk around here. If you've been here for the first time, gotta, gotta love the flowers. They even this plant did it up pretty good. 
I'm going the wrong damn way. See? There we go. Now if you come over here. Here's our log bridge. And you can flip off of here. Currently, right now. The biggest smallmouth. My biggest personal record, smallmouth bass. Right in that hole. Right there. That's 4.9 pounds right out of that hole. Right there. But we're going after the American Shad. So he's kind of over here. This here, I just want to show you this part over here. It's the right time of day. This, this is wonderful. Actually, they say that he's right there. So we're going to give a whirl. I catch him in a different spot. And a buddy of mine told me that I could catch the American Shad right here. And I've never attempted it. So you know what? We're going to give it a whirl. Let me get my bait ready to go and we'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Let me show you what I got rigged up here. We're back to our Omni Flood 11.5. Same old gig there. But what I did was I, I downsized a little bit on the on the barbless hook. I said we were fishing for the, the gar and the uh, catfish with uh, four off. I went down with three off. So just a little smaller hook. That is just a slightly smaller fish. So I'm hoping that that pulls him out a little bit better. But I was told... Well, where's my pole at? Hello. Three. Guess I have to pull it out myself. I thought I had people to, to do that. All right. We're going to go right over there. He tells me. It'll be right between the first big rock. We'll see whether this works or whether he just bullshit me. All right. Well, there he is. Something. Let's see. Uh oh. All right. I have had awful big bass take shrimp before. And I've caught quite a, uh-oh, uh-oh, buck, getting buck. If this is an American shad, he, he's the biggest one I've ever caught. But I think this is a bass. I hate my strip. Tell you the truth. But even if he's a bass, he's a big one. Uh oh. Oh, I lost him. Oh, Buck. not liking that too freaking much now are we huh all right do can play this game never ever ever give up the fight we'll be back with him oh, got another one dancing there he is boom let's see Not losing this when he's a bass. Bet. Fighting like a smallie. Eh? 
I'm not playing with you this time. Yep. Large mouth. Well, nice money. But you're not my American side. Alright, I'm gonna give it one more shot here, folks. And I'm going to where I know they are. We'll see what happens. Bingo. Ah, bummer. Well, that was a big fish. Way bigger than this critter could handle. All right, I got a rebate. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Got a new hook or bait. What we're going to do right off the bat, since there seems to be a big guy over there, we're going to turn down the drag. All the way to halfway. Is that made me mad now? I'm going back in there. See now that was right over there at the second rock where I threw that one in. So we're gonna go back after it. See the it even knows where that line broke where I was throwing. The game told me, okay, because it knows how mad I am right now. <clears throat> so all I gotta do is I know get her in there because it automatically clipped for me. So we're gonna go right back out there. That's exactly where I threw the last one. We'll see what happens this time. Because he ain't gonna snap it right away. If he does, then I'm going to bigger, bigger sticks. All right. Wait on that some bitch. Alrighty, somebody's dancing. Oh, there he is. Oh, what the hell is that? Where is the damn thing? Clear in the woods. <laughs> you gotta love that. A trophy small house fast. Yanked him. <laughs> Oh, Buck, you got to settle down, man. It's okay. It's just a fishing game. <laughs> How the hell did I pull that out with a six-pound pole like that? I need a hard hat. My God. All right, let's... He's not the American Shad now, is he? <laughs> Well, we're back. Uh, let's hope that, Oh, my God. What's up with this game? Now it's up in the trees. What the hell? Boy, am I glad I'm getting this on tape. Don't tell me the fish is still on. Get the hell out of here. Look at this. This is insane. Okay. I'm game. I'm glad I got this on tape. We're going to try that again. <laughs> okay. I don't know what the hell is going on here. Let's get away from that rock a little bit. I think those fish over there are possessed with something. All right. I'm getting my helmet on for the next one. Well, guys, I'm still here because I, I, I got to figure out what the hell just happened there. Um, but we were in the dead drop of a down peak. So I fast forward a couple hours, 1,700 hours here now. And um, I'm going to let it roll. We're coming right up on another peak here. I, I got to see. Uh-oh, here we go. What happens now? All of a sudden, everything's normal. Okay. That's a bass. Pretty sure. 
up on Brawl, which is sad. They do fight a little bit. That's not really like this. Yeah. All right, I'm giving up. I think my body's full of shit here. We're going to my spot. This way, folks. Follow me. Why don't they have a super run key? There it is. Ah. Okay, that's where they are. We'll get a couple poles, see if we can make this quicker. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I got four poles in the water right now. Right in front of that rock, you can see a couple of the two poles with the bobbers. I got the other two right between the two of them. That's where the shad live. So, we'll hit him here in a second. Every pole has shrimp. We're on the dance floor with something. I don't think that's an American shot. Breaking the surface like a bat, you got me puzzled. Don't lose this block. Hmm. Running like a large amount of bass, though. Oh, that was a, that was a bass break. That's probably what I got on there. Yep. It's a big one though. Oh boy, that's probably the one I want. Come on, man, you gotta get in there now. You're torturing me here on my time constraints. Come on. You're coming in, buddy. I ain't got time to play with you. Oh, my God. There we go. I got you rhythm down now. I yank you right out of dead water. I right, bring four. Four. Let's get him. Come on. Another bass. Yep. Hey, trophy. I like the money. You ain't in sad, dude. Not in sad. All right, let's get back in there. I know they live in there. That's the only place I've ever caught them. Okay, somebody's yakking, wants to dance. Somebody's knocking at the dance floor. Who is it now? No one. All right, let's get the rest of these poles in the water. Well, we got something on there, but I think it's probably another bass. Uh-oh. Hang on there, little fella. Let's try to get this guy. Yeah. Thank you. 
you want to do now? You're wasting my time. My body just breaks the line on you. Oh, I got on this. I'm going to lose. Yeah. It's, it's, come on. Uh, probably a trophy. I don't want, I don't care about him. Look at this. This is what I mean. This is what gets you frustrated. Why, like, you know, and I do stupid stuff like this because I'm too cheap to buy. That's why I have money in the bank. Too cheap to buy a pole. You know, I've got sixth grader poles. I'm, I'm in high school here. Come on. There it is. Probably a three pound friggin' bass, too. That's what pisses you off. Ah! Told you. Trophy, three pounders. 264 bucks. That wasn't worth my time. All right. Let's go get this sad. Why aren't you biting my line, little one? What is wrong with you? Okay. I like where that one is. I don't like where that one got to. We're still back at it, fellas. This guy's being a little, just a little some bitch, actually. I ain't happy, but I know they're in there. So that was a little too long. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Well, guys, we got him. Damn, what a rat bastard that was. Every time I've come here, I try to fish for that fish. Because I don't like him, not one bit. It makes my life difficult. But anyway, we got him. The American Shad. Straight ahead to right at that rock. This took that long. 8.42 p.m. Day one. Oh, well. There you have it. Mission complete. <laughs> now, there's one more mission in there. It's called the Naharan Unique. You catch a unique red fish, red ear sunfish. And I, I showed you, and it's actually right over there. Let's, let's get this guy back in the water before he has a heart attack. Oh, I'll tell you what. If this is another one of them sad, I'm quitting the game. But I think it's a bass. So we'll end it on this one here. We got the missions complete. I gotta stick around. You guys need to stick around also. If oh yeah, that's, I'll be here for a while. But 
Fish for those catfish. Make yourself some money here. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not even going to move from this spot because the catfish spot is right over there. Where I'm looking at, you can see the ripples in the water. Flathead catfish, huge monsters, constantly. There, they're bubbling. Just a little teaser. Maybe I'll make a, maybe I will just make a video while I'm still here. Because I'm going to make some money. Maybe I'll call it farming the Heron River for catfish or something. But, a lot of big catfish in there. Big money. And that's all I'm going to make my money from this trip so I don't end up in the red. Alright guys, thanks so much for fisking with Uncle Buck. Remember, hit the like button. We had a lot of fun today. We got to see the game glitch. I can't wait to get this one up on YouTube. I had, I guess we'll call that, we were fishing for tree bass. <laughs> all right. We'll see you all later. We're going to head. Oh, he's down in the rocks. Damn you, boy. All right. I'll catch you guys on the... Uh-oh. We got them all busting out loose here. You know what? What a way to end the video. What do we got? Four in there. Well, let's go get him. Make sure we set the hook, right? We'll probably lose that other one, but... Let's see what we can do real quick. Do it to me. And we got him. So I'm going to continue to fight these fish for a while. You guys have fun out there. Remember, tight lines. Never, ever, ever give up the fight.